Hey, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I want to start off to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Hebrew tongue. Bahashem is in the name of Yahweh Shai, is our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer from Israel, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Bahashem is in the name of. Racha is the spirit, and Kodash is holy. I want to also give double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of great millstone who teach and do well and taught me the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered to all four corners of the earth, my fellow laborers who push in this work and word in truth and sincerity all across the globe. Shalom. So I want to go to a scripture. Bear with me. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 13. And he do it great wonders, so that he make it fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of man. And uh, like you were seeing on the picture, you know, Esau Edom has the power given by the Heavenly Father to uh, uh, make fire come down on the earth. And that by means of nuclear missiles like he did in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And in this lesson where we go also into into Salakia, that what he, uh, what was happening in uh, Maui, uh, California, and particular uh, places, you know. So um, let me go to the videos. Bear with me. We're gonna start immediately. Let me play it. Multiple wildfires are burning through the state of Hawaii, destroying homes, businesses, and popular tourist destinations. An eyewitness says Lahaina, on the island of Maui, is apocalyptic. Lahaina appears to have been burned incredibly bad, and there are a lot of very terrible stories coming out of there. The Hawaii National Guard has been activated, and a state of emergency has been declared. You're gonna be okay, Milo. Milo, your mask is dirty, it's better. <clears throat> Holy sh Temperatures hot enough to liquefy glass and metal.
so sad. Oh my god. The powers that be are at work again. This was no wildfire. A wildfire that demolishes buildings, leaving trees standing, leaving restaurant umbrellas and trees untouched, yet having the power to destroy a boat in the middle of the ocean. Mindful, though, there are a lot of people that claim they see beam energy weapons. All of these images that I've seen circulating around have been around for many years. Yet what we are seeing here is definitely no wildfire. Wildfires do not completely burn out vehicles, glass and all, yet leaving nearby trees and utility poles still standing up. Wow. We truly seem to be at a war between us and them. And the sad part, most people are blissfully unaware of it. So today I want to talk about the fires in Hawaii and the fires in Paradise Valley, California. Now my heart goes out to anybody who's lost family or if their house has been destroyed because of this. This was a direct energy weapon assault on the people. And I say that because my friend in Hawaii, which I'm going to show this picture here, showed a laser beam coming out of the sky directly targeting the city. And this is really important to be aware of because when we look back at Paradise Valley when they had their fire, we see a lot of similarities, such as the trees still standing, which is very interesting for a fire. Now, with this whole entire thing, the mainstream media is going to say that this is climate change and that we need to do better. But what's not going to be talked about is the weather modification projects which take place in the United States every single day, spraying aluminum and barium and strontium up to the sky, which, if you think about it, aluminum is a very, very flammable material, which could result in something like this or something like this. Governor Josh Green touted Hawaii's sustainability accomplishments at the United Nations Economic and Social Council in New York City. The governor was the keynote speaker in the forum that included more than 40 presenters from around the world. Green pointed out that Hawaii is in a unique position as an island state and has tried to lead the way in promoting renewable energy. We tried to lead on energy and climate. We were the first state to mandate 100% renewable energy uh, for electricity. So it's, again, an opportunity as a small state with technically a small footprint, but we do punch above our weight a little bit because of our position in the Pacific. Speakers were invited to help implement the United Nations Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals in 2030. So, yeah, there you have it, man. So a lot of people uh, seeing was seeing in uh, Hawaii uh, that it was uh, something that really was done on purpose. You know, uh, this, you were seeing this on the footages, uh, the way uh, the fires were created. You know, uh, people had something like, "Hey, this is really crazy." You know, uh, uh, the fires, a fire, wildfire doesn't burn like that. So people saw. Uh, also a beam coming from the sky so it's a lot of uh, things have been said that was happening and uh, the last clip that you saw is that uh, the governor governor of hawaii uh, mr green <laughs> very ironic that name he um he had a summit with uh, the wef about maui to be a smart city you know and that is what they try to build all over the world, these smart cities, 50-minute cities, you know, get away. Uh, they want to get rid of cars and um, basically want to lock you up in your home and in your environment, you know, in a small environment where they are controlling everything and you're going to be monitored 24-7. What's already happening in China and a lot of uh, parts of China, 
that is what they are uh, trying to do, you know, to have total control of, uh, over the people. Like we always going into if, uh, in the prophecies also that this got, uh, it's all these roads are leading to the Harakma, the MOTB, to the Mark of the Beast. You see? Because that is what they really want, to put a chip in you and control you 24-7, man. That is what it is. So, uh, let me go to a scripture. Uh, the book of Revelation. I'm going to stick stay in Revelations. Chapter 6. And verse 4. Uh, the second seal. War. War. Because this is also what is going to lead to, to third world to war, man. Uh, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And who is that red horse that is, uh, represents Esau, Edom? Um, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Because he was blessed with the sword. Uh, the Esau himself was blessed by Isaac with the sword and the fatness of the earth. And you can clearly can see that the Edomites cover the whole earth. They have the whole earth. They have the fattest places in the earth. Uh, like you were seeing uh, uh, Jeff Bezos and all these uh, celebrities, these uh, super rich, uh, the elites, they got the fattest places. They have islands. They have everything, you know. They have, they covered everything. So that's why you can see that they are the one that rule in this earth. They are in control of the natural resources. They control. They are in control of everything. Like you are seeing, um, also uh, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Jeff Bezos, all these so-called celebrities and elites have a lot of. Um, they have also uh, uh, big spaces of acres in uh, Maui, but their places was not touched. So that everybody is also a little bit. That is strange that. Uh, uh, the, the locals, they was really touched by these fires, but, uh, the places from, uh, these elites and these celebrities, nothing happened, man. You see, so people are started to question like, Hey, what's going on? And like you were seeing also in the last video, um, uh, that, uh, BlackRock tried to buy all these, um, uh, they will try to get all a lot of these locals their uh, uh, ground and, and, and that they need to sell it. But people had uh, was in an uproar like, no, we ain't, no, ain't going to sell nothing, you know. So these are these events that make it strange that, that this happened on this island, you see. So, uh, yeah, man. So Esau was given that great sword, man. That is his blessing. He was blessed with that by uh, our Heavenly Father through uh, Salakia. He was blessed by uh, Isaac. Through the Heavenly Father gave him that he had the blessing, that he had the fatness of the earth. Matter of fact, let me go over there. It's the book of Genesis. You know. You see. So, uh, the book of Genesis. And we're going to go down, down, down. Uh, too much. Uh, yeah, this was when Esau, uh, when Jacob took the blessing of Esau, you know. And... Um, yeah, well, let me go straight to the point and read it. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing? My father, bless me even me also, O my father. And Esau lift, lifted up his voice, and he wept. You know, he was crying because Jacob took his blessing. And Jacob, uh, uh, in the ancient Hebrew, his name is Yaikwap. And Yaikwap means surplanter, you know. <laughs> he supplanted Esau from the from his birthright, but it was all pre pre ordained by the heavenly Father that this is the story the way it needs to go, and he already like I always uh, we go always into it. It is in the scriptures. He sold his birthright for a morsel of meat, uh, in the, stated in the book of uh, Hebrews, you know, chapter twelve, and uh, uh, if I'm correct, chapter uh, first four. You see. He already is, uh, sold his birthright, man. He did it for a, one morsel of meat. So, um, verse 39, And Isaac, his father, answered, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. You see? So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is blessed with the fatness of the earth. 
end of the duel of heaven from above. And that is very funny, the duel. <laughs> you know, the, 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 what they're talking about, that uh, directed energy weapon that is called, uh, the, the acronym of it is duel. And it's very funny, you know, it's very ironic that here in the scriptures you see that he got the do of heaven from above. So it's really funny. And by the sword shall thy live. And that sword means by weapons. Esau is the, the top specialist in weapons all over the world. He was the first one that bombed uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. That, make, that made all the nations scared of him because of that great power, like we was reading in the book of Revelation, chapter 6, you know, or, and uh, Salakia, and also uh, chapter 13, and verse 13, that he, uh, the, the wonders that he did, that he made fire come out of the sky. You see, so all the nations were trembling for e before Esau, but now a lot of these nations also have... Uh, uh, nuclear capabilities, you know, uh, look at the Korea. So all these so-called weak nations also now got nuclear capabilities. So Esau is not anymore the real top dog of the earth, but still don't make jokes. He still is blessed by the Heavenly Father that he has all these weapons. You see that he is the, the specialist in, in weaponry because this was his blessing given from up high from the Heavenly Father, man. So uh, let me read it again. And by the sword shalt thou live, and thou and shalt serve thy brother Isaac. He had to serve us because that is how prophecy uh, goes, man. That Esau gonna serve off us because Jacob is the uh, uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So if this kingdom is going down, <coughs> Salakia, we gonna rule this kingdom. As it is, uh, as it is uh, promised and prophesied by the heavenly Father, you see, and by the sword shalt thou live, and thou sh and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from uh, of thy neck, you see. So that is what is uh, going on, man. So um, let me go to the book of Isaiah. Because Esau is destroying the earth, man, with these weapons and everything that he's creating. Like in the the the, the second last video, uh, that what uh, the man was talking about, that they have strontium, uh, aluminum, and these things that they're spreading all over the skies. That's why a lot of people are sick, and me, I'm one of these people. I'm very, uh, how you call it, vulnerable for these things, you know. So he's destroying the earth, the animals, the plants. The whole uh, ecosystem, he destroys everything, you see? So let me go to the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 24. And nobody can den deny it, man. He destroys everything, Monsanto, uh, the crops, everything. He destroys the earth, man. And that is, this is, is, that's why he need to go, because he is a fair, he's governing this earth very, very bad, man. So, uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 4. The earth mourned and faded away. Uh, the world languished and faded away. The hardy people of the earth do languish. You see? So, the earth is in a very terrible state under the rulership of Esau Edom. And that is what we see nowadays. That's why he blames the people that uh, uh, that is too much people uh, on the earth, but there is not a, a lot of people, uh, uh, much people on the earth, because that is also a lie, because there's a, a lot of places on this earth that is not inhabited. But if you're going to put everybody in uh, um, in major cities, clot up with each other, of course it's going to look like that there is a lot of people, but that is not true. You know how fast the earth is, how, how many places... You know, because when I I did uh, when I'm traveling, I see that man. I'd be like, hey, there's a lot of space on this earth, man. But yeah, if you build your cities, where you, you 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 put everybody with each other, that is very unhealthy, man. There is no there is no uh, uh, overpopulation. That is also one of the lies that Esau Edom is telling the people, man, and people are swallowing it. You see. Because he is full of this, he's deceitful. He's only deceiving people constantly. 
Because that's why in the Bible they say they say uh, the Bible said that this is his witchcraft, his 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 his, his so-called magic, you know, by deceiving. Because that is what Satan needs to do. You see? So let me read it again. Um now so, so like, yeah, we're gonna go to verse five. The earth also is deviled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws. And what are these laws? You know, uh, you need to hold a, a land uh, uh, Sabbath, you know, because the land also uh, needs rest. You cannot get constantly 24-7, day in, day out, you know, uh, uh, tiring the ground, man. Okay, that is what Isa also is doing, man. You know, the earth, he is really defiling the whole earth because why? He don't keep the laws of the earth. That's why if, if he was a good uh, government, then in uh, engulfing the earth how it needs to be then you are going to see that the earth is going to prosper but he is not like that because only because of 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 uh, uh, a greedy gain of money and riches and power he is uh uh tiring out the earth man wearing out the earth you see and that is what is going on and this is what we witnessing and seeing and you and if you are a spiritual man and woman you can feel that too man that this is not healthy, it's not natural the way he's setting up things. That's why a new government needs to come to take over and put these devils down, man. Because that is what it's all about. Because he 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 got his time, favorite was uh, favor favorite was showing to him to control this earth and rule this and govern this earth. But he made uh, he made it a desolate and 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 and, and a, a tiresome place, man. And that is what is going on. So, um, uh, let me read further. Uh, of, let me start from the top again. So like, yeah. The earth also defi is defiled under the inhabitant thereof, uh, inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. And uh, that, is the, the, that is the deal that you, if you are a king here on this earth, A, hey, you need to do it under the management, the things that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai had set up. That is the only way that this earth can uh, prosper, man. That's why he's gonna put the, the children of Jacob back in the uh, back in rulership. But because we can see in, in the, that this world is ruled in wickedness, man, and we cannot continue longer anymore like this. With uh, this uh, kind of management on this earth, you see. So the Most High is uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to put soon a stop uh, to this man. That is what is going to happen, and we can see now that the end is manifesting, man. We can see it, we can feel it, we can see it. We are at the end, man. The earth is, <laughs> the earth is never been in the state that it was in since the beginning, and it's going to get worse because this devil has plans that is is not good for this earth he got no because he's he's made to be wicked he got no empathy and no feeling of sorry for the earth he said to you like a hey, climate change but he got a whole different alternative agenda behind it for him it is all about controlling and uh gain wealth that is what it is and if you can uh, depopulate pe the, the, the the people you know you're going to get better control over everything, man. Because when the people are going to rise and stand up, the, these elites have a, have a hard time <laughs> to control the people. And they see in it, they got, uh, uh, a lot of people are seeing through the, the BS. They see like, hey, something is going on. That's why they try to do damage control, uh, try to push the narrative with uh, fake news, uh, conspiracy, all these buzzwords to make people uh, to confuse the people and a lot of people are, are swallowing it and think that it's really the government is, is is here for the for your best will and your best interest but that is not that is not true man we already saw it with the with the last so-called uh demic, you know <laughs> the government is not here for you man they are there for their for their own game man and more likely for the for the so-called uh the powers that be on this particular time man. but okay let me go to the book of Sirach of let me go to the book of Jeremiah the book of Jeremiah 
you have the 12 go straight to the point too This is the book of Jeremiah. So lucky. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12, verse 4. How long shall the land mourn and F and the herbs of the field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said, He shall not see our last end. <coughs> you see? And they already also think, because this was in the time of uh, for the Israelites, you know, but Hey, it's no new thing under the sun. These scriptures also apply to uh, the things what's happening now. You see? And the land is mourning, man. The herbs of the fields are withering away. You see everything. Nothing is grow, it's, it's grows like it needs to be, man. Like it needs to be in the natural order. It, it, it's all out of order. You see? And that's why we need a new management on this earth, man. And they think that this is going to continue forever, but hey, this is going to stop. We know that Yahweh Bashem Yashah is going to stop this, man. The higher power is going to intervene, the divine intervention that is going to come very soon. And that is where we are hoping and praying and have faith that this is going to happen. Because what else do you have? You want this to continue forever? You see that a lot of people are really, uh, how you call it, a lot of people are sad, a lot of people are depressed, stressed. Because why? This devil brings constant, constantly he's bringing fear tactics. He, 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 he tries to control people with fear, pushing that fear, fear mongering. And fear and uh, stress is detr detrimental for your health, man. And that is what he is working with, you see? So, uh, let me go to the book of Hosea. Hosea chapter 4. Uh, this is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 3. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of the heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. So, and that is what we really witness in nowadays, man. The F, everything is mourning. The, the the whole earth is mourning. The, the, everyone that dwelleth, like I was saying, that dwelleth in it, people, uh, animals, uh, the the trees, the 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 birds, everything, man, everything is mourning, man. You see, and everything you see that hey, uh, hey, everything is you see dead fishes. Uh, go you know uh, they pull out all the uh how you call it, clams and uh, particular animals seafood animals that you cannot eat because if it is the wild food and these animals have a particular uh um uh, uh in the in the ecosystem they have a particular role to play they are filled uh, some of these uh, uh sea animals they are filtering the water like clams they are filtering the water man so if you pull them away you got the defiled water the the yahweh bashem yahshai put everything in the right order and these devils are destroying everything that's why like i was reading they are uh um they just uh broke the covenant and the ordinance and the law how you supposed to govern the earth you see, because if you do that, you have a much healthier uh, society, man, and a much healthier earth, because earth. that is what it's all about, man, you see? But he wants to do it his way, and his way is grievous, it's only pain, it's destruction, it's nothing good comes from uh, off it, man. And that is what it is, man. So let me go to the book of Sirach. Bear with me. Bear, bear. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 14. And let me go. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? And the Edomites, Esau, Esau, Esau Edom, the, the so-called white man, is really evil towards himself, man. Because look what he's doing with his own people. 
He don't have mercy, man. You see? He destroys everything that is on the path. And I'm talking about these elites. Because they are not good to themselves. They ain't good for their own people. Let alone we, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see how they was treating you, man. Till the day of today. With real rigor. And that is what you need to <laughs> come to. Uh, come to uh, that's what, that is something that you really need to consider. That, hey, man, this devil is made to be wicked, man. Because he's not good to himself. Let me read it again. He is that is evil to, him, uh, to himself. To whom will he be good? Yeah, to who? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. And that is what is going to happen. He is now greedy. Try to get the whole everything in the whole world. You know, uh, tr try to get uh, all the riches. Try to get all the lands. He tried to control everything. But he ain't going to enjoy it. Because why? Our heavenly father and his only begotten son is going to stop this man very soon, man. And he's going to, like in the book of Job, he's going to farm it all these riches out, man. So he's gathering everything, heaping everything to himself. But, hey, it's going to be to none effect. Because that is not the way things need supposed to be, man. You see? So let me go to the book of Proverbs. Bear with me. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 4. And straight to the point, verse 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Exactly, you see, because it is only wars, violence, the whole world is out of course with this, man. You see, people are suffering and that is not good, man. That's why if uh, Jacob, the Yahweh Shem is going to uh, send his, Yahweh going to send Salakia, Yahweh going to send his only son, Yahweh Shai, you know, he's going to take over this kingdom, man. And Yahweh Ratasa, we're going to rule with him, man, this kingdom, man, because the promise is made to Jacob. And we're going to rule this earth in righteousness the way that it's supposed to be, man. Even the other nations, they're going to be glad, man. They're going to be like, hey, we're so glad that that, that that Esau Edom, you know, that he's gone, man. People going to drink uh, healthy water again. Clean air is going to be oh, <laughs> back on the earth. Everything is going to be restored again in its natural order, man. So that gives you a longer life. Uh, you're going to live longer. Your health is going to be better. Everything is going to be better, man. The whole, condi the whole uh, uh, conditions... On this earth is going to change, man. And this is that is that is something that you need to rejoice for, man. That is what you really want, you see. But you don't want that what they do, man, because they these elites, man, they are only busy with uh, plotting on the people uh, how they can uh, control them and uh, really like you were seeing what has happened in Maui, you know, uh, a lot of people perish. And if it is really like that, that they use something and all the signs and all the uh, 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 witnesses and people that are talking about it, you hear, you hear like, hey, something is going on, man. You know, this is not a man-made fire. So if that is the case, they offered a lot of people, man, to for their own greedy gain. And a lot of people are figuring things out about them. And that's why Esau Edom is exposed nowadays, man. About the wickedness that he's doing. Because why? He's not even good to himself. Because if you have a good king, he, a good king is going to be good for his people, man. But he's a really bad king, man. It doesn't matter for his goal and his gain. It doesn't matter if he got to eliminate, eliminate, eliminate a lot of people, man. That is wicked, man. You see? So, uh, let you go to the book of Obadiah. Obadiah, my favorite. This is the book of uh, Obadiah, chapter uh, uh, first four, Salakia. Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. You see? So now you have uh, your space stations, you are all up in the air, you got your planes, you got the be best weapons like I was talking about. You know, you set your, your, your nest amongst the stars. 
still the most high is going to bring you down you're going to go down and this is going to happen very soon because you see all the cracks in your kingdom because you your your kingdom is of, uh, now at the at the point of declining man it's going down it is already started man you know because the because of all righteous dealings like stated in the book of Sirach, of all righteous dealing one the kingdom going to be translated to uh to this kingdom going to be translated to the other kingdom man and the kingdom is going to be not russia not china not uh africa it's going to be the children of israel man like stated in the uh, the book of uh of like stated in the scriptures man so like, yeah, you know because it's all the through the scriptures man that israel going to inherit the earth man in righteousness because that is what it's all about we need good management man if you have a company and you ain't managing it uh, well what they're going to do with you you're going to get fired and they're going to search for somebody that can take it over it is like here in holland you have uh, uh the company for water and they are making a hell of a bad management so they kick you out you, you know and uh, somebody higher up they're gonna of the government is gonna look and look if you are governing things good you know and if it goes well, then they're going to leave you. But if you still govern the whole uh, company, S-H-I-T, they're going to kick you out. This is, and this is the same with Esau either, man. He's going to get kicked out of uh, rulership. Because why? He does a very bad job to govern this earth. Very simple. You see? So, uh, okay, let me close out with this one. Because I got to go. This is the book of um, Revelation, chapter 18. Let me go straight to the point two. Uh, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh had remembered her, her iniquities. You see? Your sins have reached the heavens, man. The mo that's why the Most High is now, now you are in his, uh, how you call it, you are in his scope, man. You see? Because your sins reached onto heaven, man. You do every, you, you're doing everything what is anti and uh, uh, contra the, the, the scriptures, man. The way that the Most High set everything up, man, against the laws. You are against everything that the Most High said that you need to, how you need to do it. And you are against it. You, you are flipping things upside down every time, man. So now is your time to go, man. The Most High got you now on, in, in a scope. And hey, that is not a good thing, man. So I can pull out a lot of scriptures on that, man. Because hey, you're going to drink that cup now, man. And the cup is full of drags, man. That's the bitter, you know, when you have wine of uh, beer, you know, and at, uh, the bottom of it, you know, the less, the less, if you take that last sip, you know, it's bitter and everything. That is what you're going to zip, Esau, you know, and it's going to be bitter. You're going to swallow like the Most High said, man, and drink it. And the cup of the Most High, you don't want to drink from it, man. We drunk from it and look what's happened to us, man. So, yeah, man. So with that. You know, I'm going to show you a little, uh, uh, I'm going to close out with a clip, you know. So with that, I want to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Yahweh Kodash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and do well, do well, Shalom. Multiple wildfires are burning through the state of Hawaii, destroying homes, businesses, and popular tourist destinations. An eyewitness says Lahaina, on the island of Maui, is apocalyptic. Lahaina appears to have been burned incredibly bad, and there are a lot of very terrible stories coming out of there. The Hawaii National Guard has been activated, and a state of emergency has been declared. You're gonna be okay, Milo. Milo, your mask is dirty. It's better. <clears throat> Holy s***.
burning in my car's right in front of that house. Temperatures hot enough to liquefy glass and metal. So sad. Oh my god. The powers that be are at work again. This was no wildfire. A wildfire that demolishes buildings, leaving trees standing, leaving restaurant umbrellas and trees untouched, yet having the power to destroy a boat in the middle of the ocean. Mindful though, there are a lot of people that claim they see beam energy weapons all of these images that I've seen circulating around have been around for many years. Yet what we are seeing here is definitely no wildfire. Wildfires do not keep people burn out vehicles, glass and all, yet leaving nearby trees and utility poles still standing up. Wow. We truly seem to be at a oh, war between oh, us God. and them. And the sad part, most people are blissfully unaware of it. So today I want to talk about the fires in Hawaii and the fires in Paradise Valley, California. Now my heart goes out to anybody who's lost family or if their house has been destroyed because of this. This was a direct energy weapon assault on the people. And I say that because my friend in Hawaii, which I'm going to show this picture here, showed a laser beam coming out of the sky directly targeting the city. And this is really important to be aware of because when we look back at Paradise Valley when they had their fire, we see a lot of similarities, such as the trees still standing, which is very interesting for a fire. Now, with this whole entire thing, the mainstream media is going to say that this is climate change and that we need to do better. But what's not going to be talked about is the weather modification projects which take place in the United States every single day, spraying aluminum and barium and strontium up to the sky, which, if you think about it, aluminum is a very, very flammable material, which could result in something like this or something like this.
Governor Josh Green touted Hawaii's sustainability accomplishments at the United Nations Economic and Social Council in New York City. The governor was the keynote speaker in the forum that included more than 40 presenters from around the world. Green pointed out that Hawaii is in a unique position as an island state and has tried to lead the way in promoting renewable energy. We tried to lead on energy and climate. We were the first state to mandate 100% renewable energy uh, for electricity. So it's again an opportunity as a small state with technically a small footprint, but we do punch above our weight a little bit because of our position in the Pacific. Speakers were invited to help implement the United Nations Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals in 2030.